In this video, I'm gonna show you a data exploitation vulnerability in the Google AI Studio that Google fixed in August. And it actually allowed for the exfiltration of a lot of information. So that's why this one is kind of unique and interesting to look at. And I will also have a little bit of an extra demo around a video-based prompt injection. So first of all, right, the vulnerability is fixed by Google. This happened in August. Uh, there was actually also some exchange on Twitter about it where Logan Kilpatrick kind of confirmed the fix, uh, that the team's working on the fix. There's a backstory. If you'll read my blog, embracethereat.com. Uh, initially, I had found this vulnerability in February already. Then it got fixed, and then there was a regression. So uh, this was a little bit of a longer story. But let's dive into the actual exploit to show you how this vulnerability looked like. So we have here the attacker, and we start a server that monitors traffic. So we see incoming messages. And this is the uh, kind of the user. And the scenario that I want to explain here is a common scenario where you know we might, you might have a human resource department and they analyze employee performance feedback. And so you have like for each uh, employee, you have the data. Right? This might come in CSV files or in, stored in a database and so on. So we have this information about performance summary and also like feedback from other uh, users. And we all zip it up in a, in a zip file and then we can upload it to the Google AI Studio to analyze it. So we click upload from uh, a local folder, select the zip file and uploads it. It actually unzips it right away and then we can talk with the data. So let's do that. And you can see here in the very beginning, it's now rendering an HTML tag, but then that all disappears and it keeps running. Why is that happening? Let's look over to the attacker server and you can see we get a lot of web requests in and in basically for each employee, we got the file name or the name of the employee and then actually the feedback, right? You can see here, Albert, Alice, and the performance feedback, and this keeps running. And as you can see, more data is coming in. Let's wait a little bit longer, but basically for every single employee, this information is being exfiltrated in this demonstration. This is really to show the impact of a seemingly benign or small vulnerability and how an attacker can actually make this really powerful. And this is the reason it is because Johan has a malicious prompt injection as feedback that renders an image tag and then prints the word Johan and it does this for every single file. So if you read this, uh, you can see it does it for every file and that's why we have every single feedback being uh, exfiltrated. And this is RIA's feedback that we wanted to gain access to, right? We can see surpassed all targets and that's basically it. I hope this was interesting to show you like the real world implications of having such uh, image markdown rendering vulnerabilities in a large language model applications uh, application. The, fee the fix is very simple, right? Do not render hyperlinks to untrusted servers, to third party servers in your LLM application, right? We've seen this many times now with Google, Microsoft, ChatGPT, OpenAI, right? Anthropic. Basically, every major chatbot had this problem, and it's something we really need to address and fix. And to show you an additional uh, kind of interesting scenario, I also want to show you how this prompt injection could have also come from a video that was analyzed with Google AI Studio. And I had this here as a demo. So we have, hello, this is Johan, trust no AI. And then now we actually upload a video to Google AI Studio. And this is now really cool, I think. Wait, at the bottom here, you can see the web requests that are happening. So this is extracting the video, which is actually taking some time. And now, if you analyze this video, watch what happens. <laughs> it renders the image. And on the bottom, you can actually see that it exfiltrated the data. Pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, make sure to educate developers and add this to your testing uh, when you do penetration testing on uh, LLM-powered applications to make sure that there is no data leakage happening.
With that, I want to thank you. Uh, check out my blog, follow me on X, and have a great day. Bye-bye.